Good morning. If you're watching this video, you want to know about Bandy Creek Campground Stables in Big South Fork. First of all, Big South Fork is ran by the National Park System. It's a national recreation area, I believe. Um, it's in the middle of Knoxville and Nashville. It's closer to Knoxville, just north of Crossville, Tennessee. Part of it is in Tennessee, part of it is in Kentucky, and Bandy Creek is known as the premier horse riding, um, horse camping, I guess, destination in the southeast is what a lot of people call it. I'm going to show you the stables, I'm even going to show you some trails, but real quick, I'm going to show you some of the basic campsite stuff. This is important, if you're coming to Bandy Creek, there's two ways to get here. You can go through Jamestown, Tennessee which is from the west, or you can come in through a town called Oneida, which is from the east. Do not come in through Oneida. If you come in through Oneida, you have to go down into the gorge. It's actually a little bit shorter if you're coming from the east like we were, but then you have to go down in the gorge and with a big truck and probably a big horse trailer, it is extremely difficult. There's hairpin turns, about eight of them. Um, so I would not come in through Oneida. Come in through Jamestown. Jamestown is where all the restaurants are. There's tack shops. Um, you come through Oneida, there's nothing to eat. It's just factories actually. So don't come in through Oneida. Not a good uh, way to come with your horse trailer. Um, so like I was saying though, this is the beginning of the tour for the campground right there is one of the bathrooms the bathrooms are really really nice super super clean um, there's a visitor center back there they have um, maps there you can buy they have souvenirs they have um, some nice little movies about the uh, area it's it's a very clean facility it's also not super visited it's not crowded uh, there's a hundred campsites that I'll show you a few of them um, you do want to make sure you get a long enough campsite that you can back into. Some of them are shorter, some of them are longer, but it says that on the website. There's a few pull-throughs, but only three or four, so you probably aren't going to get those. But it's summer, and there's a hundred campsites over there, and maybe, maybe a third of them are being used, probably more like a fourth. Um, I think part of that is because we're close enough to, um the mountains we're only about an hour and a half from knoxville i think a lot of people are going to the mountains in the summer which is great that's where we live but there's nobody here um which is pretty awesome so uh yeah let's go ahead and check out the campground in a little bit So this is a camp store. It's only open on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, but inside you can get some t-shirts, uh, drinks, they have pizza. You can get some basic horse supplies like fly spray, um, salt licks. You can't get a lot, but they do have a few things. Um, you can get hay the entire week by the honor system, firewood, um, stall shavings, ice. That's all on the honor system. Uh, but it is nice and it's actually located right at the stable area. So let's go ahead and check out the stables. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna show you a few highlights of some of the trails we've been on. We've been here almost a week, six nights, um, and we've gone uh, over 40 miles on trails as a family. So here's just 
a few highlights of some of the horse trails we've been on. Nice job, sweetie. So they have, I think, six of <clears throat> these barns for the horses, plenty of room. Now, I do think in the fall is their busy season. There's a lot of people that like to come here for leaf looking, uh, leaf peepers, people call them. Um, but right now in the summer, there's plenty of room. There's probably only maybe 10 horses here, including our four horses. Um, there's a washing area for your horses. Those are located at every barn. Um, you don't have to bring your own muck gear. They have uh, picks for you. They have wheelbarrows. You do need to muck your own stall, um, but that's something you don't have to bring. All of the trails for horses are located right there at the end of this field. I do suggest getting this map from the visitor center. It's 13 bucks, it's National Geographic, Big South Fork. They do have some basic paper maps inside the camp store, but this will show you everything. And you can use this for other activities if you wanna go on a hike, if you wanna to go to the river, if you wanna look at some of the historic places, this map is definitely worth it. We've only really been here two full days 
and we've already done 20 miles of trails there are tons and tons of trails there's loops there's out and backs there's literally from this spot hundreds of miles of trails you can access which is pretty awesome we are having a blast so this is where our horses are located there's only two of these but they're these outside um, paddocks basically a lot of people like stables but my wife likes the paddocks and we have four horses and it's always good to keep your horses together since they know each other they will be happier and uh, they won't freak out on you so this is where our four horses are at And as a bonus, since these uh, pens aren't used that often, they had some grass in here, about a month's worth of grass. It, uh, it was probably six, seven inches tall. So they've gotten a little bit of grass, which is nice for the horses. Um, this has been a great place. We really love Bandy Creek, located in Big South Fork. There's lots of other camping areas for horses, but this is definitely the uh, most developed as far as um, the camp store, the swimming pool. This is the only swimming pool in the whole park as far as I know, the big visitor center. Um, so there are some more rustic places you can definitely go, but as our first official family horse camping trip, this was the place for us to go in the park. and. We're having so much fun that I think we're going to try to stay another night if we can. So thanks for watching. If you've been to Bandy Creek or Big South Fork, if you have some favorite trails, just leave uh, those comments down below and tell us about your experience at Bandy Creek and Big South Fork.